All right. Hey, H7, how are you doing? Early on time? <laughs> I was pretty much on time. I had just forgotten my uh, a little cup of water to if I paint anything. All right. I'm just trying to get this little jar open. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, doing well. Good. That's good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Trying to get the seal off of this is what I'm fidgeting with here. This is some uh, fabric paint, but I thought it would be, I'm just going to be doing a whole bunch of uh, just kind of a whole bunch of different collaging. I've got a few different ideas in my head I want to think about. Here's some hexagons I had cut out, oh, quite a while ago. I would say probably, I don't know, eight, nine months ago. And I just laid them out here on this canvas in this, just to kind of look at them. But I think I actually want to do something a little bit different with them, actually. All right. Looks like I finally have the lid off that. All right, seeing just kind of seeing if it'll work what I have in mind. Yes, I think that'll work. All right, I think I want to use a colored background. So this is an eight by seven canvas that I had gessoed. And I just was laying those out to see if I have an eight by 10 canvas. So I was seeing if I had enough to do a whole canvas. We're going to lay that aside and come back to that canvas. Oh, did it? Did his stream cut out? I felt bad. I, I hate being live when, you know, your friends are live or something. But this was the time I had scheduled. So, uh, I think that happened last week. You had mentioned his cut out right then or something. So, I have, like, a turquoise I could do it on. But that's not, I kind of want something a little more contrasting. Uh, I could do it just on white. But I was looking at this color. It's kind of like a um, harvest orange color. It's kind of an orange color. And then I was, so I was looking at that color thinking it contrasts real well. It kind of looks nice on there. Then I also had this one out and I couldn't really decide just yet. So... Those are some of the colors I was looking for. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a little bit, it maybe looks on camera a little bit more on the burnt sienna, sienna. It's kind of close, a little bit more orangier. Um, but yeah, super close to like a sienna color. So I couldn't decide though. So I couldn't, we could do, I was going to just use a random selection of them. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I'll use half and half. Hey, Desert Pores, how are you doing? So maybe I'll just use half and half. So first half, let's do this orange color. And then maybe we'll do a second one a little differently. So I was going to do just like some random in the middle. Um, I was going to throw some gold paint down. And then possibly just kind of some ram random abstract for it to sit on. My brush is a little wet. Because we're only going to put some kind of in the middle. Bala connections. <laughs> or bad connections.
So that's just kind of some gold abstract in the back. And then I have this. It's a toy from a long time ago when my kids, but I've kept them for shapes because I kind of use them to stamp. So I'm going to pull out some, some like turquoise color. Oh, that's a better turquoise. I'm going to kind of, oh, sorry, as in really good. All right. They also have a ball, a monthly bill. <laughs> okay. So I just have like a yogurt or a sour cream top I'm using. And I'm going to dip this like toy kind of thing. And I'm going to do a couple in the background. And this is just a random background. So I've dipped it in the paint and I'm dipping off a little bit. I kind of want them. Just very abstract. And so we're going to then, once those dry a bit, place some of these abstract around. So I'm going to get a little more paint. I need to grab a white sheet just to stamp the excess on. I got to get that in view where you guys can see that too. So I'm just stamping the excess a little bit there. Oh, I guess I've never really heard of that. Mike seemed to know right away. He he knew what you were saying. Bala? Ball, I don't know. Like, like a ball? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I want them kind of messy looking, abstract. I have a few different designs I want to work on today with this. Okay, probably want one more and then that's it. I keep saying that and then going. <laughs> But this is just a piece of wood, like a toy from like a kid's blocks, you know. Okay, so we got some just random. Now. That's what I was, that's what I was trying to say about like a baller. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought you were saying. I confused the heck out of myself though there. <laughs> so then I also have this hexagon, hexagon we could mess with, but I think I'll just wait for that one. See if I have any more other size hexagons. It would be nice to find a really small hexagon to kind of tie in. I'm looking at some stencils here, but I don't think any of the other ones are hexagon. And of course I could draw out little hexagons, but we're trying to be a little quicker. <laughs> so, all right, so I've got some of these pieces I'm gonna kind of just place in here, but um, I'm gonna use a glue stick. Just a good old Elmer's glue stick. Hey, Mr. Dovoy, how are you doing? Is it National Limerick Day? Oh, wow. All right. My grandma used to love Irish limericks. Oh, my gosh. She would love those. So now we've got what we've got is these all these hexagons, and I'm going to use part of them. I'm not going to use all of them. We're just going to kind of put an abstract design down here. Um. I might actually even, I wonder if this is wet. No, that's pretty dry already over here. I wonder what we could do. Let me see, just a moment. I 
I don't want it to touch that other part. <laughs> We're trying not to make a mess and I am getting turquoise paint on myself. All right. On myself. So this is just a gold pen. I'm trying to hold it up from the turquoise. I'm just trying to put a few different mediums here to then uh, tie it all in here in a minute with the uh, other hexagons I have. All right, just drew, drew a couple of hexagons there. Where'd the lid to that one go? Okay. And that's just one of the gold paint markers there. So these are what I've been painting those painty papers with the, um, the photo paper. Do you know what I kind of want to do? I think I'm going to. So I'm going to get a little bit of um, wet on my brush. Get a little bit of this turquoise real wet though. So I'm just splattering. I wet the turquoise a little bit. Then I'm splattering a little bit of the, um, I don't know if you guys can see that too well. I splattered some of the turquoise just a little though. So now I've got these hexagons that are on the shiny side of the photo paper I painted with the fluid acrylics. And now I'm just going to start placing a few of those down randomly. And these have got some beautiful copper on them, some turquoise and some red. What was, I guess I missed part of the conversation. I was all into what I was looking at, what I was doing. Oh, yes, yes. Very soon. I got to film that video. I was actually thinking about doing that later tonight. Filming a video with the cricket. But um, I've been more cutting things out by hand than with the cricket here real recently. Just using glue stick on the back side here. You can use any sort of adhesive or whatever you're used to. And then I'm even hearing a few gonna rubber, gonna stamp on a couple of uh, things as well. Looking for a good color. I wish some of these had more of the copper color in them. Ooh, those paint markers are quite strong. Oh, Mike is so still rocking the mullet. He has even cut it like, um, a little bit more extreme even mullet. He's got quite the mullet. Oh, yes, I believe I know what you guys are. Um, uh, one of your friends from the coin community. That's too bad. All right, probably just a couple more here. Then I wonder if I should splatter some red or something then even over the top.
that we're about done. I kind of want this one to be somewhat simple. That one's going to bug me. There. All right. Let me move those aside. Just kind of different, you know, kind of abstract. I think I might even take just a little bit more of that turquoise. And so what I do is I, I get my thing wet and then I get the paint real wet, you know, watered down. And then I just tap on the, and you do this also with a, um, I want to get bigger ones. Not on my glasses though. <laughs> it's one to go. But I want to get a little bit like more um, really loaded up here because I want to get some bigger splatter marks. There we go. We're getting some more splatter action. I honestly don't want too much. I'm going to wipe these a little bit of it off. Not all the way, but just a little bit of it off. There. There. <laughs> his mullet is rocking. <laughs> so I wonder just to kind of tie it all in, I might do just a second. Got this um, block here again, and I'm just going to kind of go back over this one. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually paint that in a little bit. It's not wanting to because the paper is raised up there. But that's okay. I can just paint it in a little bit. You got a mullet wig? Oh, my gosh. Mike used to have a mullet wig. He definitely used to have a mullet wig. But he wore that one out. He had to get rid of his mullet wig. You had got rid of it, didn't you? I hope so. I haven't seen it around. He doesn't wear it so much anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to do something super like kind of abstract. Yeah, it was kind of more um, dreaded. You know, it turned into some mullet dreads. And so uh, he had to get rid of that. That was before he actually cut his hair in a mullet. So now he has the hair cut into a mullet. And so it's a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, he's got the rocking mullet right now. So what do you think? It's just something kind of different, simple. I even wish I had something to bring some smaller. I might even draw some freehand a little bit, but some little tiny ones, tiny hexagons would be cool. But something super quick, super fun little project. Let me set that one aside. And like I mentioned, we had both colors. I wasn't sure at the beginning. Now let's maybe do something um, with the same hexagons, but go a different direction. People at the Goodwill, yes. He got very excited one day because he found a, like a real wig, like a really nice wig. And uh, the, the, the ladies that were next to him were not too impressed by that. So let me lay a couple of these out and kind of decide what, sh what direction should we go on this one. I kind of feel like doing it kind of somewhat off to the cor off in the corner here. I'm just going to lay them out first and then we'll de I'll decide. They just didn't understand your sense of humor, Mike. <laughs> they, they must have maybe thought you were serious.
So I have been working really hard on my Etsy shop and I'm super happy. It's doing pretty well. So um, I think the economy for some is doing really well and for others not. So it's showing, I, I'm so thankful for those that are supporting artists and small business because it's amazing. Super excited. All right, I'm trying to find a couple of these aren't quite. Oh, no one uh, understands your humor. I do, I do. <laughs> so now what I was thinking I don't know. I think I'm about just putting them down simply and nothing. Some of these need, they've got a little bit of a white on them. I need to maybe, I don't know, fix them with this turquoise or. But then it's noticeable. You can really tell that's a different turquoise. <laughs> Mr. Joe Boy, I've been shot at for my humor. Oh my. Yeah, they really weren't understanding your humor, huh? I'm just kind of painting in a couple of these with white that have kind of some white on them with my finger here with that same turquoise. And that turquoise is, I think it's scuba. Yeah, it's Nicole's scuba. Cops just don't get you? Oh, no. That's terrible. You don't want the cops not under getting you. <laughs> my, my. So, yeah, that's not too noticeable. Just filling in those um, blank bare spots, the white spots. But it'll take a minute for those to dry. So I'll let those dry and I'll work on gluing down these other ones. I'm going to actually put my paintbrush in the water before I forget. But oh, and look at what Mike bought me for Mother's Day. So I have white paint and I've never had this big of a Liquitex white paint before. So finally, I have white paint. Super excited about that. So I've got a bunch of paintings that I've been thinking of doing and have been in my head for a while. And now I can actually work on them. It's been a while since I had white paint. So now I'm just, um, let me push this forward so you can kind of see. I'm just taking the glue stick and gluing each one of these and I'm going to lay them down kind of in this pattern I have here. Try to get them as straight as I can here. Oh, you grew up in a bad neighborhood. Um, I did. I grew up out in the country. I didn't grow up in a bad neighborhood, but I moved out on my own when I was 16. And um, when I'm, you know, moving out on your own when you're 16, you don't have a lot of money. So I moved into a bad neighborhood. So from about 16 to 22 or so, I lived in a bad neighborhood. So, yeah. Hey, Angela, how are you doing? I have a bunch of these hexagons here that I have painted with fluid acrylics onto um, photo paper, the shiny side of photo paper. And then I just have cardstock and I'm gluing them onto cardstock in a fun, you know, just random pattern here. But let's see. They've got fun, nice cells here. And I cut them with my um, Cricut mach die cutting machine. You're good eating and watching? All right. You live in the country now, Mr. Doughboy? So do we. We live pretty rural as well. 
it's nice. I can't imagine living in town. I love living out, out of town. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This one's going to be kind of minimal, not too much to it. Just going to lay them down, cascading down. And then here just a minute ago, I did this one on kind of more of an orange background. And I had painted those in and did some splatter painting and just kind of some random abstract collage work. So now I'm just glue, using good old Elmer's glue stick here. But you could use your favorite adhesive, whatever you're used to. Yeah, town is starting to creep closer, creep out this way. It is getting busier and busier out this way for sure. So hopefully we can just get further out soon too. <laughs> All right, trying to make those even and straight. It's kind of hard. Mike, can you turn this light on for me, please? Yeah, it did. Um, it started raining. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been doing a bunch of collage work with these, having just a blast. Uh, on Friday, I'll be live again this Friday, and I'll be painting some of these painted papers on the live stream. My Friday live streams, I always let the chat pick the colors. So we're going to be painting some of the photo paper with um, picking some of the, the chat will pick the colors. Thank you so much. That does, I think that helped for sure. It got kind of gray and um, rainy outside. And kind of, you could see on the screen, it was a little, you know, darker. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, yeah, just getting, um, it's kind of a slow, tedious process here, gluing these all on. But looks really neat in the end. And then I like the folder floater. I can't even talk. Floater style frames, you know, where it's like just two pieces of glass where it's kind of looks like it's floating, the floating frames. You'll be live in about half an hour or so. All right. I'll probably be on here for another half hour or so. And then uh, I tend to keep it about an hour. So what are you going to be doing on your live stream, Mr. Doughboy? at this. There we go. Oh, going to make a ring out of coins. Where was I? That one. You like the, I don't know people using these big words. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. A 1964 quarter you're going to make a ring out of. Awesome. I'm going to recommend some more wood. Did you get a huge storm, Mr. Doughboy? Mike was showing me um, some radar, some of your weather back there. It looked like you were having big storm. My vocabulary is usually pretty good, but I have no clue what H7 is saying. <laughs> enlighten us, H7. Enlighten us. I don't know what you said. You had some snow? Some Mother's Day snow? One winter, because I was homeschooled for about a year and a half as a kid, and during that winter, one of the years, the, the year and a half I was homeschooled, I went to Montana with my grandmother. She lived in Montana, Northwest Montana. And um, she had snow on Mother's Day. And I always thought that was so crazy how late it had snowed. And 
Um, that was pretty normal for them, though. But yeah, they had had snow on Mother's Day while I was there. So I guess you had snow on Mother's Day, too, probably. Seems like I've gotten a little faster on these. Probably gotten sloppier as I've gotten faster. It's three inches, but it melted fast. Oh, all right. I thought you guys maybe were going to get a little bit more than that. Three inches is manageable. It's doable. But then you got the mud afterwards if it melts fast like that. The only problem with these um, glue sticks is after a little while, your fingers kind of start to get glued on. Trying to get these. You do have a moment you can kind of reposition them. Oh, you put in. Yeah, I say all kinds of made up words. I get tongue tied. Uh, I, I say all kinds of weird words. But you got to remember, too, that part of that is because um, when uh, I had my stroke, I completely had to teach myself. I had to go back to speech therapy and I had to learn how to talk again. I had to teach myself how to talk again. So um, I get tongue tied easily, super easily, but I used to not so much before my, before the first stroke. I just try to just keep going. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, who cares? We can use all the grammar. You know, you can grammar mistake it up here. We don't care if you use improper grammar. Jeez. All right. So we probably don't want too many more of these. These last couple are those ones that I had um, kind of did the edges because they were had little spots that were missing a little bit of turquoise paint there. And then you can always trim this down too. Right now, this is a 12 by 12. So you can always trim this down and make it into more of a um, 10 by 10 or an 8 by 10. Or So, yeah, um, I'll show you a little bit more of a close up. And you can see these are real fun. Um, got some real fun, interesting cells here. I don't know. Do we need another one? Should we throw another one on there? And then we'll move on to something else, not these hexagons. I was going to do a, I've got a couple other things kind of in mind. Maybe right there. Oh, that one almost got glued on there just by accident. It's kind of fun, just kind of random, a random, simplistic, you know. I might would maybe put a couple more, but I'm going to go ahead and I think it's pretty good. So I might cut this one down as well to fit into. I don't know if I have a frame as big for a 12 by 12, but I know I got some 8 by 10 frames. So I'm going to go ahead and set that one aside as well. Now, I am wanting to bring up maybe one of these canvases. I was painting some background canvases to kind of do something with too. But see, this one, I, the reason I haven't poured on this canvas is it has like a couple of something was glued on this canvas a long time ago. And then I pried off what was glued to it. And then I just kind of randomly did a background. So let me give some of the, get some of these painted papers so I can show you what I got, what I'm working with. I thought we could cut out some of these for this. A snow as early as mid-September. In Boston in July, oh wow. 
Yeah, that is, it's crazy how that, and has it, have you um, lived in Maine your whole life? And then I know that um, H7 has lived um, some of his life in Maine as well. So uh, has it, can you guys say, has it changed over the years? Because like here, we used to, when I was a kid, I'm looking through the stack of painted papers and I'm pulling them out, is what I'm doing here. But as a kid, we used to get a lot more snow. We do not get nearly as much snow nowadays. Oh, I just kept on going and grabbing ones out. Which one? Um, this one here? Or is it a while back, probably? <laughs> less snow in Maine over the years. Yeah, we've had, we've even had less rain. You know, Washington is known for the rain. And um, we've even had less rain here. So maybe I'll do one of those, um, an owl or something. I don't know. I can't decide here. Oh, you've only been in Maine for four years. Okay. So probably not too big of a difference. is not too noticeable, at least, uh, over four years. So I'm just going to get a white piece of cardstock here. It's going to be hard to see for a few minutes. Going to move the turquoise paint away from me before I get into it. <coughs> okay. So what I think I'm going to do is a mosaic I've kind of been thinking about here. Um, and I'm just going to start cutting. The past four years have been pretty light. Okay. My cut. So, all right, this is going to be kind of a landscape. So there's the bottom little portion and I'm just going to cut a bunch, uh, a landscape in here. Over 10 feet of snow. Oh, wow. Um, the year I was born, there was over 10 feet of snow and, um, I guess uh, my parents tell me all about it, and um, I was uh, I was actually born in a helicopter because of it. But I've never seen more than three feet of snow, three and a half feet of snow. So, all right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut a bunch of these out. Um, strips making kind of a mosaic here. A kind of an abstract landscape is what I'm trying to say. We have all kinds of colors. These are some of the ones that were done recently. Here, we need some of these. Here. So, have you guys had dinner? What are y'all going to have for dinner tonight? I made a pork, um, kind of Asian flavored pulled pork kind of somewhat thing the other day. So, we're going to have leftovers of that. I am just pulling out some of these greens. And, oh, that one is that same other piece. But um, I was actually thinking, so it's an Asian flavored kind of pulled pork. And I was thinking about making steamed boughs. I'm trying to cut off some of this trim here that uh, I always try to get it to the edge, but I always seem to miss a little area. So just try and cut that off a little bit. Oh, 
All right. Now I'm going to measure this up. You haven't had some pork in a little while? I've been cooking all kinds of different food, kind of different things than what maybe we normally. Because we usually do like a pulled pork, you know, in the normal uh, barbecue, like kind of a vinegar barbecue uh, based. We actually had that at our wedding, uh, pulled pork with a vinegar, like a barbecue vinegary base. Oh, thank you. It's going to be, you know, kind of like an abstract um, landscape. I'm going to just put, I've done one, um, actually, I believe I may have even done two on um, these sort of, these live streams, but um, I'm going to try to do this one with some, a bunch more colors, a bunch more layers in it. But I'm, I'm working upside down from the orientation that the camera's at. Is it dark on the screen, Mike? Oh, okay. It just looks dark to me. Now I'm going to put maybe a, a small little strip of that would be kind of fun in there. I'm trying to see here. So I'll just have to trim the edge kind of off there. I think I might even bring this one up a little further and I'm going to get something else in there. <clears throat> kind of want to use this one more up when we get to the sky, maybe. Let's find a different one for right there. Oh, perfect. I've got, I've got this might work great right in there. Some contrasting kind of colors. So don't need much though. Just kind of putting some valleys and hills and different stuff in here. Might even pull this one further up and put another contrasting. Um, let me move my scraps off so you can kind of see it more. Uh, Oh, very abstract. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Chicken legs and yellow rice and beans. Oh, awesome. That sounds good too. I um I have uh some yellow rice I was looking at just the other day that I was thinking, hmm, that sounds good. We should make up some of that yellow rice soon. So I think we will be having some yellow rice pretty soon as well. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to put a small strip of this kind of um, color in there and see what we get if we put. Just going to place it for now. And then when I get it how I kind of really like it, then I glue it all down. But that gives us a little bit more where that kind of pops more. Yeah. Awesome, H7. You're liking this one? Good. Awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to do some different things. Um, I have so many ideas in my head right now. Like, I am, I really want to do a bunch of different stuff. So, here's one I had done here a while back uh, on a live stream, but um, very simple, minimal layering i'm gonna try i'm trying to do this one a little bit more la layers and stuff so here there's an example of one i had done recently and then 
I had also done this one on a live stream with some coral and the octopus and a stop motion. Ah, I don't know how to do that. And I, I can't write and learn new things right. Uh, when my to-do list gets a little bit smaller, maybe I'll learn stop motion as well. <laughs> but yeah, I've been super, super busy with the kiddos and uh, school and things like that for them. So I think I will pull down some of these blues and stuff maybe for the sky. <clears throat> Didn't I have a lighter? Yeah, there we go. Maybe a small strip of this. It's um, some metallic. But I think it would be nice to kind of mix some metallic in there. But probably not too much. A small little bit here. Bring it down here kind of in this valley. Probably should have done that just a little bit bigger, but so that's probably just going to barely peek up there. Probably cut the end off, but that's okay. Oh, it's all right. So that'll just peek up kind of there. Now we'll get another little piece going. i got to find some more browns, hopefully. I've got just a whole pile of that painted paper. Oh, here's a perfect uh, uh, kind of a brown, and we've already used part of it here. Um, I am going to do a time lapse uh, possibly tomorrow, quite a um, long long time lapse of doing some of this collage and doing a couple things on the with the cricket with the collage. I am going to be doing that here soon. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It's getting kind of pressed down there. And this abrupt edge will get, get covered once we, once I start gluing them down, you can kind of, it brings it together a little bit more for us. Hey, artsy fartsy lovers. How are you doing, Stacy? How are you? I think I want to get, this is some of that, uh, got some copper and some turquoise. So let me, okay, just give it some valleys and hills and kind of want this to kind of um there we go I think that'll be a little bit better yeah we're um pretty good here just been still home uh I've gone, ventured out to the bank once, and then it was, it was pretty nice for Mother's Day. We did go and do um, some social distancing at my mom's house, so we went and visited her, and she does live on a, um, some property, so we were able to just stay outside in the yard, and we didn't even go in, and we just stayed outside in the yard, and were able to say hi, and uh, sat in some lawn chairs for a few and visited, and it was nice to see family. I haven't seen any family in so long, so um, 
since March 8th, I've officially gone to the bank and didn't even get out, just signed something at the drive through That's it. And then gone to my mother's yard. That is it. So, but it was, it was nice. It was a nice mother's day treat to kind of get out a little bit, but that's it. Hey, Arlene, how are you doing? Oh, just in for a few. Oh, that's all right. So what we got going on right here is I've painted all these papers with fluid acrylic. They are photo paper. And so with the fluid acrylic, with some of them have some silicone in them, some of them don't, giving us some cells. So some do and some don't. And now I'm just cutting them up kind of in a random um kind of a really abstract uh, collage kind of landscape here. So now I'm looking for, I'm thinking some of this, oh yes, we definitely need to get some of this orange color in there. So. And I, Stacy, I have not had white paint. Well, I have had the one little bit of white paint for months now. So I got, Mike got me for Mother's Day, a huge, I've never had a Liquitex this big. So I finally have white paint. So I've got so many poor, poor videos and poor ideas that will be coming very soon. Super excited to have white paint again. I kind of need to bring this. So, yeah, it's been a long time. Elbow bump to H7, yes. Yeah, it was the perfect gift for me. He knew what I wanted, what I needed for Mother's Day. Some white paint for sure. And some canvases and some canvases. So some new art coming from me soon. I've been doing new art, of course, but been recycling canvases for a while. All right, let's get maybe a little bit of this color in there. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, super nice. Oh, don't want it to. Now we're getting almost some colors like a river or something. So yeah, what did you guys do this weekend? Anything special? Have you guys gone anywhere? Are you guys still home pretty much? I kind of want to make, okay. Kind of a, and we'll get some more there. I'm just kind of randomly grabbing here, cutting out random shapes, nothing planned really. Just as I chat and grab pretty much. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit more off so I can get more up into those. We'll save that aside, though. Oh, um, you know what? I emailed her. So she emailed me asking if I was interested. I emailed her back and no response so i just kind of i don't know uh 
and then you know all the COVID stuff and everything started so but um it kind of just was left at that but I should probably email back again maybe I was hoping to come up to the sky portion so I'm gonna find I wonder if we could do some of this yellow up top You had a, oh, did you use that paint? Did it give you a headache? But you could do all kinds of stuff with this, you know, collage work. You, do, you can do all kinds of different. Oh, do you, they have everything back? Okay. Cutting off some of the white, but just kind of, you know, giving it a random shape here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, yeah, I get migraines too. No fun. I wish I had cut a little bit longer. <laughs> but we can adjust here. Now that we've got... So now I'll just cut a little portion for right there. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to email back. That's the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, see, I'm trying to do this upside down. I'm, I'm doing it the opposite way as I want the direction I'm looking at it. So there, we'll just put this little right there perfectly. Yeah, that was definitely, um, I need to email them back for sure, because that would be awesome to be able to test those out. So um, how, how have you liked those paints? How do they dry and how, I mean, are they easy to work with? Also, uh, when I'm always looking at new paint for paint pouring, I'm always wondering, because uh, I've ran across some brands where it's like, some techniques work, you know, like you can do swipes with them. But when you go to do a flip cup, the flip cup looks just not good. Or so is it a good, would you say it's a good all around paint? Oh, you love them like uh, Liquitex. Oh, that's awesome. That's good to know. Because I, I like Liquitex. My very, very favorite is the cheap paint. Um, I've showed you guys before. I'll show you on Friday a bottle of uh, tube but it's us uh, oh here it is i've got some right here this is my my favorite is this cheap paint oh it is it's a good all around where it does all kinds of different um techniques really well with that so all right i think i'm gonna go ahead and start gluing some of this down you're trying to make me why are are you <laughs> what juicy wood what you're you're trying to get me in trouble saying stuff or something <laughs> so i'm gonna push these down just a little bit but kind of keep them so that then i can continue um i'm gonna gl start gluing it together i don't know <laughs> All right, just again, I'm just using regular old um, Elmer's glue stick. I find it works the best. Sometimes you'll have to get just a little bit tucked into the edges. But I try to go the whole edge perimeter and then kind of some through the middle. As long as you get all the edge pretty good, it, it lays down nice. No. Why? 
It sounds palindromatic. Would you say juicy wood? Is that what you normally use as Floetrol? I normally use Floetrol. I was for a long time using um, some Liquitex pouring medium. Ah. Yes, it sounds funny. <laughs> But, um, and you paint brush painted with it. And it was super smooth. That's what I, that's what I like about this super smooth. And it, it, you know, if you like a real matte paint, it probably isn't the best. It definitely has a sheen to it, but I kind of like that sheen to it, but, um, it's, it's definitely a kind of a glossier paint, but, um, it's a very smooth paint and it's highly pigmented too. So now I'm just going down the, the way here and gluing this all on. And I gotta push these down just a little bit here. And so it looks kind of funny when you're going back down the other way, but you'll see it here all in the end. <laughs> see maybe that's the problem i'm not i don't know you're making me say things because you're too gotta go the same exact back way so you can get them layered properly here <laughs> now you're retracting things that's okay i read it before you retracted that one usually you catch me and i don't read them but i read that one so i a lot of these are some darker um papers here one thing i want to do a whole bunch of um uh little bit lighter papers some contrasting lighter ones and now that i have white i can kind of do that i don't like how that's just like a sharp i kind of want things kind of a nice curve so now i'm trying to backwards there we go And you can kind of readjust a little bit. Little glimpses of possibilities. Yeah. Should you be on live chat? I don't know. Um, I guess. But I, usually when people, uh, there's not so many people chatting. It just shows everybody's chat. Uh, sometimes it'll, uh, if it's a larger crowd chatting, uh, you want to be on live chat because it's leaving off some of the people's chat. But um, I don't know. <clears throat> and I like the contrasting weird colors. It's very abstract. I mean, it's definitely not realistic here. But it's fun. And we might get to the bottom and have to cut out a little bit more, but no worries. But yeah, I've been... Um, I'm going to do a time lapse where I'm going to collage a whole bunch here, use a whole bunch of these papers, a whole bunch of ideas I have, show you using the Cricut and cutting out some things on the Cricut. And then um, it's probably going to be a long one, so I'll speed it up is what I'm going to do. 
So that should come out tomorrow or the next day, a big long time lapse collaging um, some of my other ideas I have for this. Yeah, you can look out the window to see some realistic landscape. Yeah, definitely. Me too. So it's always nice for some abstract. That's awesome. Love me some abstract as well. So this is kind of similar to that other one I had done. Oh, I think it was two weeks ago live stream. But um, this one has a uh, quite a few more layers here. Let me just see how this is going to fit here. I can't remember how this one fit it, fit in there. Okay, there we go. I think it's more. Why is this not? See, sometimes you get down here and you got to cut a little. So I think I'll cut a little peak here. Let's find maybe some of that red. Do we have any more of that? Seemed like there was a small little strip of it left. I wonder if that's big enough there. Let's see if that'll do it. That might not quite. We'll put that down there. But yeah, on Friday's live stream, I always on Friday, the chat picks the colors. So this Friday, we are going to be doing these. Um, painted papers so be ready to pick some cool color combinations for me to paint up some of these photo paper see now that makes it oh okay this will this okay i was like that makes it look funky i'll have to kind of peek that under there all right now the sun came back out out here. It's uh, the rain and the sun cannot decide. Normal Washington weather though. Rain and the sun going back and forth. So we're getting right to the end here. We'll just put these last little bits here. I think we want that to kind of, there we go. Trying to see which I think that'll be first. I think I layer those other ones over the top. And then see so you can cut down the edge to kind of clean up that edge a little. I have just like a regular paper trimmer. You can just cut up the edge or also just one of those big old guillotine things. I think this is actually supposed to come over to here. And that was what was supposed to cover up that red we put in there. But oh, well, no big deal. Magenta or pink in this one? Or are you talking about for like the cheap paint? All right. I hate using the glue stick because your fingers always get covered in that glue stick. But all right. So now let me set those aside and I can show you guys. See, it, you turn it over, then you can see and you can square it up and or you can use your guillotine. 
I'm just going to use this real quick just to kind of show you guys it all nice and squared up. Or rectangled up, really. <laughs> oh, you see it? Yeah, there in the claws. Yeah, I'll show you a close up here in just a minute. You can see the. There is a little bit of pink in the just the one paper. Pull those. All right. So, um, this one here has a little bit and same paper, but they're in there. But yeah, just real abstract kind of cutting and just want to show some examples. You don't have to have the um, Cricut to really cut out. Yeah, you can have a Cricut and it's super fun to cut out all the shapes, but you can also cut out just out on your own. So um, some of the things, though, the Cricut does cut out. And see how this one ended up just placed like with the eye and it was just so interesting how that one ended up placed like that. And you can cut out like feathers and so I've got a whole bunch cut out and ready to go for um, a whole bunch of ideas. And here at the beginning of this live stream I did this one. I just painted some gold in the back just to kind of give it a kind of an anchor. I used, um, oops, let me move the glue stick. The, then I splatter painted on it. And these turquoise ones here are an old, I'll have to wash it up here, but um, it's just an old wood block from when my kids were super little that I just stamped and painted. So that's one I worked on um, very beginning of this live stream. And those hexagons are cut out with the Cricut with the same painted papers. But um, I did that one. And then, all right, Arlene. Yeah, I was going to be getting off of here pretty soon. So, all right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And I hope you have an awesome week and have a good one. Thanks you. Thank you for stopping by. Then I've got this one that it was just more simpler. Um, I think I'm going to cut it down to be to fit into an eight by ten floating frame. But so yeah, I was just showing some quick examples of just different things you can do. I've been having so much fun. I mean, a ton of fun with this painted papers. Kind of like a pine cone, the one. Like a geometric pine cone. But you can use your stencils. The one hexagon's on there. I just stenciled, used a stencil and a paint marker just real quick. Um, just all kinds of ideas. Super fun, though. But just so much different. There's a lot of different colors and textures and directions of the cells. And, and then you can doodle on top of there. You can, I mean, just endless, endless possibilities. I know I kept, keep saying endless possibilities, but truly it is. But yeah, so wow, guys, I've already been on here an hour and 15 minutes. Guess it flies by when you're having fun, doesn't it? So yeah, um, I think I probably get off of here, but I will be posting a time lapse of some more uh, collage work, kind of some different stuff I'm doing and some different mixed media as well. So it's pretty awesome um, just mixing up a bunch of different medias and together with it as well. But yeah, great to see you guys as well. And I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and chatting with me. And 
it's so much fun. Thank you for all your support, everyone. So have an awesome week, and I'll be back live on Friday afternoon. I am going live now on Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that's just kind of a temporary adjustment with time with homeschooling. So, yeah, I hope to see you guys on Friday afternoon, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to paint some more of these papers. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great night, everyone. Much love. Be the change you want to see in the world, guys.